This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of McCoy versus Tozer. You all have been together for 13 years. You're engaged to be married. You've got five kids together. But whether there's a wedding down the line all depends on what happens here today. Is that right, Ms. McCrory? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Tell us why you've initiated this case. Your Honor, I believe this man right here is cheating on me. And being together for Not 13 true. years, five kids later, you know, uh, my family's at stake, and I'm too old for it. I got to move on or something. And if you find out he's cheating, if what does I that mean? If I find out he's cheating, I am packing his stuff and dropping it to his house. She's, she, wait a minute, she ain't giving up her place. She's not yeah. leaving, he's leaving. She's kicking him out, yeah. So he's gone. He is out. He's got to go. It's my house and the kids. All right. All right. Mr. Tozer, she's saying you get ready to get Your the Honor, boot I'm if she finds out you're cheating. Your Honor, I'm not cheating on her. I love her. I wouldn't risk my family or my relationship over another woman. I've been with her too long. Mr. Tozer, you say you love her. I do. I want, I, I, I want to prove my innocence today so we can get married and move on with our future. Right, and so you're not cheating with anybody? No, I'm not. She's, it's all in her head. It is. She just maybe being home with the kids a lot and just got a lot of time to think, but I'm not cheating on her. How aren't you cheating? Because we don't have no more sex. When, when I was nothing, pregnant all nothing the other times with, with the four kids, have... we had lots of sex. We had a healthy relationship. Now? <laughs> I don't even get none. It's like, vroom, like that. That's not... So it's just been a... true? That's not true at all. She said you you're not having sex at all. Are you having sex with somebody? What about last night? Oh. You're only kissing my <laughs> just to say... Just to have one more time, because you know, once we get this result, you're out. I'm not going nowhere. It's because I ain't do nothing wrong. I'm gonna prove the young minister today. Okay. So, so Ms. McCrory, is there anybody in particular that you're worried about? Yes. Uh, he takes his girl to work. She wasn't supposed to be in my car. He never called to ask permission about her being in my car. And I... Th does he need permission to give a co-worker a ride to work? Exactly. A female, it would be nice. I mean, people, you... people give people Ms. rides Miller. to work all the time, right? Yeah, but where's the harm in that? Ms. McCoy, people give co-workers rides to work all the time, right? But when it comes to a female thing, it's different. Ms. Cutler, wouldn't you agree? Well, I, you know, I, I it, the preference would be... Oh, boy, yeah, I'm I want to hear eyeballs. this. I want to hear this. Come on. All right. The preference would be that you would tell me, Mr. Cutler, hey, I'm giving so-and-so a ride, but I'm not sure that if you didn't, I would be upset about it. Now, if it was a daily kind of thing, he was giving a ride every day, every day, I might be like, okay, when's she gonna get her car fixed? Or when's she gonna get, when's well, she gonna get that bus pass so she can go on? Well, co-workers ride together, I mean, it's a, it's a cost-saving measure. The seat, I'm sorry to interrupt, no. but the seat was laid back. So what were they doing in the seat? Oh, it's Why not just a ride, it's a them? ride that she's worried about. Is she okay. getting a ride or that's, is he getting a ride? Not even true. That's not true neither. She blows everything out of proportion. So you didn't want the drama? Yeah. I okay. Mean, there was no sexual act or nothing involved. It's just, if well, I what tell her if... something, she makes a big deal out of nothing. Okay, so why was the seat laid back? Because, I mean... To be honest, I leave my house at like 4.50 in the morning. So she sleeps on the ride, the ride to work. It's a 45-minute ride. From why do you let her work. sleep in our car? We're riding to work. What am I gonna I do? Don't so care. you can't sleep on catching a ride? Mr. Yes. McCoy, so I mean, so he's gotta have rules now for his coworker that you you can ride, but you can't go to sleep, you can't let it's the thirty degree back. angle. Yeah. Only. <laughs> are are you that strict? Yeah. She is. Yeah. I've been All right. Well, yeah. My, my question is, have you found anything that makes you think that Mr. Tozier is is cheating? Yes, I have. Tell me about it. I did some investigation in that car. I went in there. I was digging out everything. I went to the back seat, started digging inside the back seat, and you know what I pull up? I uh, have no idea. A thong <laughs> that damn sure didn't belong to me. I'm big girl. They were skinny girl, and they look crusty. I have the evidence right here. Oh, that okay. was the, you submitted you that submitted to the car. Yes, I did. It. And look at that. That looks nasty. This was in your back seat. Yes. Tucked I was, under. It was tucked inside the seat in the back. Mr. Tozer, uh, those don't look like they belong to you. Who's are they? I never seen them before. <laughs> never. never seen them? Honestly, honestly, Your Honor, I never seen them before. Like I said, it's her car. She got girlfriends in the car, and that's she went there. They have their own car. Why do I have to pick my friends? Miss McCroy, 
Is there any other reason that you believe Mr. Tozier might be cheating? Yes, there is. Tell me about this. May I, um, cross-exam? I have evidence. All right. You cross through the monitor? Go ahead. Yes. What is this? Okay. Anybody? So what Do is they this? recognize the picture? So what is this we're looking at? All right, this is a sec, um, a sexting or something on a dating site. And I went through his phone, and okay. this is exactly what I found. Okay, that's like a, a profile. Yes. He speaks English. Yes, he does. Says he's interested in threesomes. That doesn't I don't happen threesomes. between us, so I don't know what threesomes he's having. Discreet relationships, Dis oral sex, friends with benefits. Those are things he's interested in. Yeah, and that's no. not happening with me. No. So who is it happening that's with? So, happened. Mr. Tolson, I mean, that's your picture right there. And not only that, it says 30. He is 33 right now. So how long have you been cheating on me? So we've got a three-year-old profile that's been up with your sign and things you're interested in, and you are engaged to Ms. McCrory. With five kids. No, yeah. Your Honor, that ain't even how it happened. I had a friend of mine staying with me, and he, and he sits up, like, all through the night, and he uses my phone, because, like, he's down on his luck. And he took my picture, and he made that... He made that <laughs> dating site. He now made... Your Honor, so he... What? Wait a minute. And Wait not only that, he got hits from it. He actually got hits from it. Had girls calling my phone and coming That's to my lie. house. That's a lie. So wait a minute. You're telling me your friend friend <laughs> used your photo to catch the women. He catfished them until he got them to the house. Yeah. But that's a lie but... because there's more to this. Okay. Well, <laughs> but that, that's your story. That your friend set this up. He did. I didn't okay. know nothing about it until she found it and brought it to my attention. But, but what about the your... call? Are you when you got a call from somebody saying, I saw your profile, I'm interested in A through Z, what did you say? Uh, eventually, but they was happening at nighttime. So I didn't know about it. And he's sitting on my phone from like 12 to 3. That's Why would you but, but, but use your but phone? But Mr. Tozer, if he was going to use your picture, why wouldn't he use his name and his contact information? I don't know, because he... I know that's how it looks, but he's good. He's good at talking. So once he gets him on the phone and talking to him, he's good. He's just a slick talker. That's how he is. But Miss McCroy, you don't believe this is just that. You don't believe this story at all. That it. No, that I do not. Tell no, me I... why. Okay. Sex in the park. We have done that. Sex with toys. We have done that. Sex in the police station. We have done that, and nobody knows anything about that. That is okay. something that's discreet with us. Sex in a police station parking lot? Yes. Well, doesn't anybody have adventurous sex? <laughs> not in a well, police station parking lot. That's not how it happened. It, it didn't happen like that. Okay, but it did oh, happen look, in a parking lot? I'm it not mad at you. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I'm just... It's curious. Hey, I'm a guy. Sometimes uh, when you want it, you want it in weird places. And so here's the question. And this is probably your question. If this is your friend's uh, profile, how did he know that you had sex in the police station parking lot when your wife... I'm telling you. We're guys, so we yeah. talk... We he was talk, bragging. And I was trying to be macho, so I was telling him that stuff. It don't make... It looked good. I had sex in... Oh, you're, you're adventurous. You know you what I mean? High fives all around, so, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. wait a minute. So he Ron, have you ever... And used it. Ron, have you ever caught somebody in the police station parking lot? It's been caught, yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> we we need know. to get out, boy, Mr. Color. We, we, we gotta step our anyone. game up. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, if you've had sex in the police station parking lot, you do dirty talk. There's yeah. no doubt you do that. I agree. I do dirty talk because I love him and that's what he wants, so I give him what he wants. You know? But All right. the thing is, you found it. You step back to the podium. Thank you. Thank you. You found his dating profile. And it has his name, his picture, and all the things he likes to do. And you're trying to figure out why in the world does he have a dating profile when he's engaged to you? Exactly, yes. 13 year relationship. With five kids. Five kids. Engaged to be married. All on the line right now. All on the line. Well, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic cyber expert Gus Dimitrellis and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please report the man. Gentlemen. Better not be lying. Mr. Tozer, are you nervous? You look nervous. 
I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to worry about. Miss McCoy, are you nervous? Yes and no. I'm nervous for the fact that I might lose my family. Mm. But That's real talk. At the end of the day, you know, I got to move on with my life. And you so need to I'm know, ready. And you need to know one way or the other. Yes. But and I see the emotion I'm in, in your face and in your that. eyes. You're, you're, you're concerned. This is real. Yeah. This is all on the line. I love this man. I'm about to prove to her that I'm innocent right now. Gentlemen, good day. How are you? Good day, Wonderful. Your Honors. It's good to see both of you. Good to see y'all. Mr. Demetrius, let me start with you. What did you do to investigate this case? I conducted a full forensic examination on Mr. Tozer's phone. Did you find anything of note in Mr. Tozer's phone? I did. Ms. McCroy's concern was of an online sex profile of Mr. Tozer that she found on Mr. Tozer's phone. I can clarify this. Mr. Tozer said he did not create this profile. In fact, he created the profile and he's paid for it. Oh, are you serious? How long has he been using this profile? Because that's been a question she had as well. Mr. Tozer has been using this profile for months and it's still active. Are you serious? Mr. Tozer. Your Honor, the truth about it is I did make the profile. But my, Why? I, I made this thing up, but only one on it. And just to be honest, to look at the pictures. I never fully texted anybody. My friend really did use it. That's the truth about that. To be honest why, with you. Why you want to look at other females when you have me? I don't know. Some guys do sometimes. It just happens, I guess. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Truthful. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Platt, you performed a polygraph examination of Mr. Tozer. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you asked him a few questions. Let's go through those. Yes, ma'am. All right, you asked Mr. Tozer, did you have physical sexual contact with the woman Miss McCroy found out you were secretly driving to work? What was his response? Your Honor, he stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. That's one. You Mr. also Mr. asked Mr. Tozer, were the women's underwear Miss McCroy found in your car from a woman you had physical sexual contact with? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. I told you, I got nothing to lie to you about. I wouldn't risk my relationship and my family over a woman. You said you would not risk your relationship... My relationship with your... or my family over for a woman, another woman. It ain't worth it to me. All right. Then why can't you ever prove that? That's what I'm here doing now. <laughs> you asked Mr. Tozer, were you using the internet sex profile on your phone to have physical sexual contact with women other than Ms. McCrory? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, but that he claimed he made the account to look at nude women. I just told y'all that. <laughs> I told you. I got on the house. I should have been honest, but... You should have been honest, yeah. I should have been honest. I'm, I right. agree. 13-year relationship on the line. We have one more question. You ready? Yes. You asked Mr. Tozer, since the start of your relationship with Ms. McCroy, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he stated, yes, he confessed. What? Are you serious? That was when we first got together, like in... No, 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 no. How long ago were we talking, Mr. Tozer? 13, 12 years. 12 years ago. When you all first started 12 dating. years. When we first got in a relationship... I was pregnant. No, when we first got in a relationship, to be honest with her, I never had a woman that cared about me the way she did. Like, I just thought she was, you know, with me to have a place to stay and stuff, so I didn't take it serious in the Wife. first year. But after that? I've been faithful ever since. Mr. Toza, I'm looking at you. I see the, 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 the tears crying. welling up in your eyes. Yeah. I mean, what does that represent? 
I don't want to lose my family. You love this woman. I want to be with her the rest of my life. That's why I didn't tell her, because I knew I would have lost her and never had a chance to make it right. You know, I'll tell you like it is. I would tell you, you need to run. I find myself hesitant, because you all have a lot of years, and you have a whole family. And, and here's the thing, love, and I guess this is the important part we need to tell them, is if you can survive it, that's where you really become strong, because you know... It's a difficult thing. I can see the hesitation in your face. I can see the emotion. And that's a good thing. That means you still care. Yeah. And so what we're talking about doing is not going to be easy. What will make it easy is when you talk to our counselor, he's going to tell you how to do that. And that's important. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.